The internet has shrunk the world down in, in a way that's like completely new and totally unique in history. And I think the blockchain is just the next logical step to that. Take all the business that we do and do it in a way that matches that small world. As it stands, right, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both proof of work networks. And the proof of work is expensive because you're using thermodynamics to provide you with security. For Bitcoin to remain secure, you have to spend half of the world's energy budget on it forever. The uh, Sybil attack or 51% attack means that if anybody gets enough mining power, they can rewrite history, take a different fork than the one everyone else is mining on, and make it be whatever they want. All right, so what's at the heart of um, the blockchain revolution is this idea of an economically secured, leaderless, distributed consensus protocol. Right? And it turns out proof of work is not the only one. There's lots of those. With a proof of stake system, we can get all that hardware tasked with actually doing useful work again. You know, we're hopeful that we can create a set of um, economic incentives and, and checks on people that will allow us to detect cheating sufficiently well. You know the network is operating the way it's supposed to be because if it wasn't, people would be pointing over there and saying, hey, that guy's cheating, right? The problem is like, oh, if you want to make a decentralized consensus protocol, um, you can't just let anyone have any amount of say in the consensus, otherwise they could conduct an attack. I think proof of stake systems want to do is move to a situation where we're using economic incentives to provide the same kind of security. The entire security of a proof of stake algorithm has to do with what can you detect other validators or other nodes doing and collecting enough evidence about them so that at some point you can say, I saw you say this to that part of the network, but I saw you say something else to this part. You put it together, it's got your signature on it. This is sufficient evidence for you to be slashed, removed from the network. You can't do any more uh, handling of transactions until you, you get your, your act together. You put up your stake and, and behave well. And then what we're really trusting is the aggregate interactions, right? Not necessarily any individual piece of software or any individual operator of systems. You don't have to have this like this hard physical limit that you're all like pounding against uselessly in order to provide you with, with security if you can get the network of validators to actually you know, catch each other when they try to cheat. I mean, Casper, I think, is like the best consensus protocol ever, right? Uh, because it is asynchronously safe, um, but it can achieve the network overhead of Bitcoin. When you take thousands and thousands of machines spread all across the world that are interacting in a particular way, that the emergent behavior of that network is, is trustworthy in some deep sense, that none of the individual components are. And that's, I think, what's magic about the blockchain.